A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 14th March. On the front page you have Info on Rafael with, is with enemies. So Defence Ministry files affidavit in Supreme Court saying that those who conspired in this leakage are guilty of penal offences under Indian Penal Code including theft by unauthorised photocopying and leakage of sensitive official documents affecting national security. So this is what the Defence Secretary says and the affidavit has been submitted in the Supreme Court. Then besides this here you have Center Assam lacks on illegal migration. So Supreme Court has blamed the central government and the Assam government for the laxity for not being strict about tackling with illegal inflow of foreigners into the northeastern state of Assam and their deportation. Then here you have China places hold on listing Azhar as designated terrorist. So this is the fourth time in a row now that the attempt has been made to designate Masood Azhar, founder of jaish e Muhammad, the leader of jaish e Muhammad, as designated global terrorist by UN Security Council 1267 committee. But China has put its hold on it, put a technical hold on it, saying there is inadequate information. And so, this, again, same thing has happened, though Western powers had also backed, strongly backed this uh, initiative presently because of the Pulwama attacks too. But then again, a technical hold has been put. So Jaish e Muhammad has been declared as a global as a terrorist organization by UN Security Council 1267 Committee. But then the leader has not been designated. So, so that attempt has been made by India. Then below you have SpiceJet flies Boeing 737 Max 8 despite DGCA ban. So yesterday on front page we saw that Boeing 737 MAX 8 planes have been immediately banned by DGCA following even other European powers taking such action. But then SpiceJet which owns this uh, fly, this aircraft Boeing 737 MAX 8 flew the aircraft despite the DGCA ban, Directorate General of Civil Aviation ban. In page 3 you have NGT directs Rajasthan government to conduct medical tests of villagers in Nagar. So, National Green Tribunal has directed this to check the health of those affected due to air pollution caused by stone crushers here. So, the report should be submitted through the medical health directors within three weeks now. So, NGT is National Green Tribunal, which looks into environment related cases. Then on page 5 you have West Nile fever case in Malappuram. So, this is regarding West Nile fever case. It's a viral infection which has affected the Malabar region of Kerala recently. So that is just you know, spoken of here. So you should know about this West Nile fever. And this is Swatch Survection Rankings Criteria Myopic says CSE study. So this is Center for Science and Environment, a non-profit public interest research and advocacy group based in New Delhi. It says that Swatch Survection Rankings do not give a complete picture because it says cities working towards reuse of waste have been given poor ratings. On page 7 you have Pakistan woman urges NIA, National Investigation Agency, not to oppose plea in Samjhauta case. So NIA special court is going to pronounce verdict in the 2007 Samjhauta blast case today. So you can see this is the case, the Samjhauta express case. So the train actually near Devana railway station in Panipat, Haryana, it exploded. So, you know, in two coaches, the explosion took place and uh, a special investigation team was set up by Haryana police in the case and the NIA also took, took over the investigation in 2010. So, this uh, blast was of 2007 and I, NIA has named various uh, Hindu right-wing organization leaders as uh, accused in the case. So, special NIA court is going to deliver this verdict. So, the Samjhata Express was between India and Pakistan. So, many from India and Pakistan have been killed in this. But majority of the victims were from Pakistan. Then here you have BSNL employees yet to receive February salary. So, at MTNL employees have been receiving delayed salaries and even BSNL employees have not yet received the February month salary. So, the PSUs are under stress is clearly evident. And this is 
Officers with six months tenure can be named DGP, says Supreme Court. So, Supreme Court has clarified its position on eligibility for appointment by UPSC. So, this is regarding Director General of Police appointment for a state. And this is much to gain if Paris climate goals are met. So, Global Environment Outlook says that India could save trillions in healthcare costs if Paris climate goals are met by it. On the editorial page, the first editorial is heavy-handed order. So, this is regarding contempt of court order being used in the case by the Meghala High Court. So, this has found newspapers guilty of contempt and has asked them to sit in a corner till the rising of the court and impose a fine of 2 lakh each. So, it is said to be a heavy-handed response to comments in the newspaper on the court's order. So, the order is said to be unfortunate. It says contempt law must not be used or seen to be used to stifle dissenting views. And below you have in slow mode. So this is regarding manufacturing inflation data which came forth, IIP and CPI data which was there in news yesterday. So it says this data gives monetary policy makers room for an interest rate cut. So inflation levels have been low. So interest rates may further be cut to give a boost to the economy. But the interest rates are cut, that is the key interest rate repo rate is determined by the Monetary Policy Committee of RBI. The lead article, down but definitely not out. So this is regarding Islamic State. It says, on the verge of being wiped out territorially, the Islamic State still poses a big challenge to intelligence apparatuses. So, so territory-wise it would lose control, but still the terrorist organization has is a big challenge. It has to be completely eradicated. And this is the need for constitutional parade. So, this is regarding the Ram Jan Bhumi Babri Masjid dispute, the title dispute, land dispute. So, it says this is a title dispute, not a religious one. So, the, it should be constitutionally resolved and that should take precedence over the religious overtones as such to it. Then on the op page you have India's grand strategy on Pakistan. So, there needs to be a sophisticated counter-terrorism strategy. Mm. With peaceful coexistence at center, that being the vision, is what this article is calling for. And this is a model policy for women in the police. So, it must ensure equal opportunities for women in all aspects of policing as well as safe and enabling work environment. That is spoken of here. On page 10, you have India-Pakistan talks on Kartarpur today. So, visa related issues will be discussed today between India and Pakistan. So, the Kartarpur type corridor is being uh, uh, built from both India and Pakistan side so that Sikh pilgrims going to visit the Gurudwara, the Kartarpur Sahib Gurudwara in Pakistan are facilitated. So, talks have been going on about this before the Pulwama tax too and now talks again are to be held today. Then on international page you have UK unveils tariff plan for no deal scenario. So, Brexit is going to take place on 29th March 2019 and still no deal with EU has been finalized which is acceptable to both sides, to both Britain and European Union. So, that is why it is seen that maybe exit would take place without a new deal. So, if that takes place, if there is a no deal scenario, then how the relations between UK and EU would be for that a uh, tariff plan has been unveiled by UK which says that 87% of goods will have no tariff. No, uh, no, no. So, there will be free movement of at least 87% of the goods. And below you have, we want all nations to stop buying Iran oil. So, US says countries given exemption from sanctions have to cut purchases from Iran and eventually they want, US wants all nations to stop buying Iran oil. So, it has put sanctions on Iran saying that Iran has indulged in developing nuclear weapons. So, that is why the nuclear deal was finalized to bring Iran online. But then US backed out of the nuclear deal, uh, Iranian nuclear deal. And now it has started imposing sanctions on, sanctions on Iran again. Though EU and other powers still continue to be part of the Iranian nuclear deal which is called Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA. On business page, you have Central Board of Direct Taxes yet to set up Angel Tax Exemption Infrastructure. 
so on angel text which had been in news uh, significantly for a long time the startups have been facing angel tax and they wanted exemptions so the exemptions were proposed by the central government but for that exemption infrastructure has to be set up which has not yet been done at central board of direct taxes and below you have rbi to inject liquidity via forex swaps that is foreign exchange swaps so this is like buying and selling of you know like dollar rupee buy sell swap so this is said to be an initiative taken by the rbi the central bank to lower dependence on open market operations and this is india gets first tir shipment that is transport international rotors so tir convention is there so the first tir shipment has arrived in india via chabahar port from afghanistan then on the last page you have environment damage behind a quarter of premature deaths diseases so this is un report which calls for immediate changes in the way the world eats generates electricity and handles its waste and this is teen climate activist in nobel peace prize race so this is greta thunberg who spearheads a global you know action or global protest against uh, climate change so this campaign against climate change of hers it's she's a norwegian uh, uh, girl so she has been uh, sorry she is a swedish teen activist and she has been named as one of the candidates for nobel peace prize and this is first person on mars may be a woman says nasa so nasa is sending its first all female space walk is planned for this month so the first person to set foot on mars is likely to be a woman now so these are the important headlines thank you